I reach unto the clouds. The prayer of the humble piss of the clouds. Until it come now, he will not be comforted. And he will not depart to the Most High shall behold the ju to judge righteously and execute judgment. For the Lord will not be slack. Neither will the mighty be patient toward them till he have smitten in sunder the, the loins of the unmerciful and repay vengeance to the heathen till he have taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the sceptre of the righteous. Unrighteous. So like, till he have broken the sceptre of the unrighteous. Till he have rendered to every man according to his deeds and to the works of men according to their devices. Till he have judged the cause of his people and made them rejoice in mercy. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction as clouds of rain in the time of drought. Alright, now you can read on, but... I got another lesson coming basically on the same topic. Now, let's go to 1 Maccabees. That's why the scripture says this right here. Um, let me read this for you real quick. Proverbs 16 and 7. It says this. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Better is a little with uh, righteous than great revenues without right. Um, this is First uh, Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort therefore that first of all supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honor, honesty. Now, I just read to you earlier how King Agrippa and Festa, Festus, two heathen, was in authority. All right, and um, leading a quiet and a peaceable life in all godliness and honesty ain't cursing out everybody on the street. All right, and every heathen yet you see you looking at them like they stink. It goes on to say this, who will have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. All right, because the scripture says this. Because um, you're supposed to pray for like, pray for these heathen rulers to deal kindly with the children of Israel, man. That's why Paul said, uh, 1 Thessalonians um, 5 and uh, 17, pray without ceasing. You're supposed to pray for everything, man. So you're a blessing... Well, at least one blessing can trickle down and come from one side. If it don't come from your own people or your job, it can come for, from a heathen or somebody in authority, your boss, your, your mayor, all right, the sheriff, if you get arrested or something like that, the judge, when you catch a case out here trying to do the work like I have before, all right, a lot of people want to question our work over here at Truth to Die as if we ain't been on the battlefield standing strong. It hasn't been a long time. For um, Matter of fact, I haven't even been teaching the word for a year, man. All right. But I've been studying and learning since 2007. Okay. One of the first to uh, follow, one of the first that's still around to follow and listen to that, my elders at GMS. All right. But I do speak to the shame of those that try to come after me and, or, that, or, 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 whatever, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna take it there. This is 1 Maccabees, chapter 8. And this is going to be the last scripture. This is the type of stuff that you're supposed to be praying for. This is, this is the way you're supposed to uh, pray that these heathen deal with us. Even though here in these last times... These devils are going to come down with great wrath, man. But while you got the chance to in a peaceable time, all right, in a time of peace where we still have the luxury of sitting in our houses or whatever and making these videos, all right, when the Most High gives us the time to, this is how you're supposed to live, live, live that quiet and peaceable life. 